Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. It's been a little while. Um, this is, I'm going to cover the installation of the MetaXR plugin because it's kind of driving me crazy that people keep asking me why it's not building. And the reason it's not building is because you're, you're not following the inst installation instructions uh, as it is. Um, this isn't aimed at people who are just looking for right help with it. Um, so as we can see here, I've got the MetaXR tools Enabled and in project settings, oh, we've got a plugin, sorry. We've got installed virtual reality. So you might see it here if you add it to project set, uh, to a project, but it won't work. The build will fail. And the reason that's happening is because you're not installing it to the correct place. So for those wondering where to go, the Meta XR plugin is what allows you to build an Unreal project in 5 to your Oculus Quest, the old Oculus XR plugin or Oculus VR plugin is now deprecated, so it no longer works. So this is what you need. Um, you can find it on the marketplace by searching for Meta XR plugin. It'll bring you to this, which will then open an external link, bringing you to this page. So you can download the plugin through the big blue button, and I imagine that's what people are doing. So you just download, download, and then download it to your project, or like download folder, wherever you got it. We see here I've already got one, and then you've got it. What I assume people are doing are it, what I assume people are doing is opening up their VR projects and creating a plugin folder in here, like so, and then installing the plugin directly here. So that's that's the mistake. So that's wrong. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't have a folder in there. And if we look here, it literally says step three: extract the contents to the marketplace Meta XR in your engine plugins folder. So this is the key bit here. It's not your project folder, it's your engine folder. So once we downloaded it, we want to open up our hard drive and find the installation location for your Unreal Engine. In my case, it's on my C drive, in program files, and then Epic Games. Right now, I want to install it to UE 5.1. We're going to open that and go to engine. And you can see here, we've got a plugins folder. What you want to do is open plugins folder and then you might not have a marketplace folder. So what you want to do is you want to right click, create a new folder and then name it marketplace like so. If I zoom in, I might make it a bit easier for you to read, but we want it marketplace capital M. And then in there, we can open this up. And the easiest way to do this is to select this top bar so your search bar, control C, so you can copy it. And then in your downloads, so we show in folder, we can extract all, and then we can just paste that into here. So like so, hit extract. Mine's already got it, so it'll tell me in a second to ignore it or redo it. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna close it because I've already got it installed. And now when you open up Unreal or open up your project, you can go to edit plugins and then virtual reality and select the Meta XR, XR plugin. Um, while you're here, if you were to test it and build to the project, it should now work as long as you've set up your project settings. I'll show you those in a minute. But for now, what you want to do is go to edit and then project settings. And if you scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see that we have uh, a Meta XR tab. And this contains all of our settings for the, the Oculus basically. So setting up, um, what you will want to do is change the XR API to Epic Native OpenXR with Oculus Vendor extension. It says the top one's currently recommended, but I find if I use that, the hand meshes, the scale meshes are all messed up. They're all rotated off and it's kind of really annoying. So that's why I use the Epic Native. It doesn't hurt anything. And then you've got color space. I left mine at P3 and it works quite well. It looks quite good. And going from there, everything else I kind of keep as default and as it is. We also have the Launch Meta XR performance window, which you can do select mobile, and then you can go through and make the changes that it recommends. Make sure to refresh it at the end, and you might have to restart your editor. And it may compile shaders, so keep that in mind. Um, Launch Meta XR platform window. Mine crashes when I do this, so I'm not going to press it. But that is something I haven't figured out, and I'm not too sure why it's crashing. 
But for now, all you can do is just go to platforms. As long as you've set up Android Studio correctly, you can just go to Android Package Project and then you'll be good to go. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of questions on... Well, I'm anticipating questions on why is my screen black? I can hear audio. One eye is not working. And a whole bunch of things when you press build. So in project settings, this all comes down to rendering. Um, I've set all this up and I know it works on my machine. So what I'm going to do is I kind of scroll through so you can have a look at them slowly. Um, what I'll do is I will export these settings out and I'll put them in the description as a project. So I'll export this as a file and I'll make this available for download in the description. So you can just drag and drop this and then make sure you select render and import the file. That should help you get started as long as Android is set up. Um, but that I believe is it. I am having issues with my hands mirroring. So if I press the button too fast, like grip a trigger, it's flipping my skeletal mesh hands for some reason. And I don't know if that's related to my project or if that's just a, a general bug. So I'm going to figure that out later on. I'll let you all know. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it. It's just kind of a frustrating topic that keeps coming up in the discord because people aren't reading the installation files. So hopefully this gets you back on track and it also allows me to send the video to people who keep asking. So I don't have to keep replying to the same thing. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a good week. Mine's been hectic and busy, but um, big shout out to everybody on Patreon for sticking around and helping support the, the Unreal template or the GDXR template that I've been working on, which is also now available on the Epic Games Marketplace. I don't think I've told anyone about. So if you search GDXR in the marketplace, you'll see here we've got the template and that's what I'll be working on today. Cool. All right, everyone. Hope you have a good week and I will see you all later on. Bye.